The nation has just about picked up their jaws off the floor. It's been another dramatic weekend on The X Factor in which John and Edward stayed in and this lady went out. Lucy Jones, how are you? I'm all right, thank you. <laughs> in the bottom two, I couldn't believe it, I have to say. Did you just think, what am I doing here? No, I didn't. I mean, everyone in that competition is so good. It could have been anyone in the bottom two and I wasn't surprised to see myself there. There was a point when it went to deadlock when you started to cry. Was it the realisation hit? Did you think, that's it, I'm out? Well, I've always thought to myself, if I'm in the bottom two, I don't think I'll survive because me and Simon have never really clicked. And it's not a personality thing. I just, it's, I think it's just a performance thing. People sometimes just don't. And when I was against John and Edward and it went to deadlock, I was like, there is no way that they had the least amount of votes. So I just kind of set in and I was just getting to be leaving. Everyone's talking about Simon and whether he was right to take it to deadlock and whether it was tactical voting on his part. I think Simon said before he cast his vote that he didn't think either of us two acts could win. So it's fair enough. If he doesn't think that we, either of us can win, how could he possibly make a decision between the two of us? So, and I'm glad that he put it to deadlock in the end because it shows that the public watch the show, not Simon. So the public get to see what they want to see more. We've had deadlock quite a few weeks this series. Do you think it almost defeats the object of having the sing-off? Because I thought you performed excellently in the sing-off. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I don't, I don't think it does because, in a way, it was just, for me, it was another opportunity to perform and to show myself. And, like, I don't know if you saw it, I took my shoes off, I took my jacket off. I was like, do you know what? get all of this stuff off me, I just want to sing. So I went out and I literally just stripped it all back and sang from my heart and I enjoyed it. I haven't watched it back, I don't know what it sounded like, but I don't know, it was just another opportunity for me. And I guess JLS and Laura White from last year, they're both proof that you don't have to win to, to go on and get a record deal. You've got your fingers crossed that that could happen for you. I have got my fingers crossed, but also like Diana Vicker, she's in the West End and Ruth Lorenzo is in America and she's signed to EMI now and it's just like, there's so many opportunities and I just pray and hope that I've been good enough that someone will want to work with me.